Hello everyone, this is me Arijit with a brand new video and this is going to be the ultimate face swapping video using Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. Now why I call it ultimate face swapping video because in this video, firstly, I'll show you how you can generate an image using a prompt. Next, I'll show you how you can put someone's face on that generated image. So it is like using prompt you are generating someone's image. So it can be yourself or someone else. And for that, you don't need to train anything. It's not like LoRa that you have to train with multiple images of that person. You need just one particular image of that person uh, whose face you want to put in that image. That's it. Next, I'll show you how you can take a random image from the internet and you can put someone's face on that image. And last, I'll show you how you can take a pose, random pose from the internet apply some prompts over it. So add some features on it and finally put someone's face on that. So it is like you are taking pose, you are adding features over it and also you are putting a face over it. And finally you will get image. So this all things we are going to cover in this video. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe so that whenever we are going to make videos like this in future, you will get update. And now without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay guys, so before we start this video, I want to say one thing that this video is for educational purpose only. Don't misuse it. Okay, uh, in this video, you're only going to explore how to use stable diffusion for this kind of things. Okay, and the next thing is I'm going to use Google Collab in this video, but even if you're using Windows or Mac, the setup is going to be completely same. Okay, and if you don't know how to set up stable diffusion in, maybe uh, in Google Collab, there is a video on my channel where I've showed you how you can install stable division in Google Collab and how to do basic text to image, image to image, those basic things. So basics about stable diffusion, please watch that video if you don't know the basics and then only come to this video. The link of that video will be in the description. So here I already have loaded stable diffusion. So the very first thing is we have to download an extension for this face swapping thing. So you have to go to extension. And I already have installed, as you can see, HD Web UI Rope. So this is the one you have to download. So in your case, it will be not be here. What you have to do is you have to go to available and here you have to just load from the URL will be given here. You have to just click on load from. Okay. And it will take few seconds and then it will load the list. You have to search control F or command F and rope. I'll not get anything, but you will get here rope. So Web UI Rope, that thing will get and you just have to click on the install. That's the only thing you have to do. And once you do so, you can just go back to install page and then you will be able to see that SD web UI rope here. Next, you have to just click on apply and quit. Okay, and again, you have to reload it. Okay, it doesn't matter if you're in uh, Google Collab or Windows or Mac, you have to uh, quit and you have to reload it. Once you reload, uh, this uh, SD web UI rope will be loaded. Now, then there is one thing. Uh, one issue is there that people are facing nowadays that is after you install uh, and then if you come to text to image this text to image a tab and then you go below you will going to get this rope this one okay rope uh, version 0.0.2 or uh, if the version will change it will change but whatever the rope you are going to get if you open it you will get all these things we'll talk about them later but there is this model thing and in model this uh, part should be there so there is this uh, in swapper 128.onyx file this part of this file should be in the model okay this is a very important thing because especially in uh, people who are using google collab sometimes this model is not getting downloaded automatically okay in windows if you're installing it's getting automatically but at least in uh, uh, google collab is not getting downloaded automatically so you check if it is here is fine no problem if it is not here i'll save the click so what you have to do is you have to go to this link. Okay, so in this link, you are going to get this file. So you have to download this file. You manually download this file. Then you go to the folder. So even if you're in Windows and this file has not been downloaded, you have to go to this, uh, your stable diffusion installation folder. So stable diffusion web UI inside that you have to go to models. There, there is this rope. You have to go inside this and then you are here. You have to paste it. Okay, in Swapper, uh, this Onyx, okay. And then you can just, no, and then next time, whenever you are going to load stable diffusion again, you are going to get this part automatically, okay. So this is one thing that uh, this uh, part, should, uh, this file part should be there. 
So now we are ready to do the face swapping. Next is uh, we need few models at least to generate like images. So you can use your preferred model. I am going to use two models. One is this realistic vision. So this one realistic vision version 5.1 and then this RPG. These two models I'm going to use in this video. So if you don't know how to use new models, you have to just download these models. The links will be in the description. You download them. Next, what you have to do is you have to go to again to your installation folder. And this time you have to go to this web uh, stable diffusion web UI inside that you are going to get uh, you are going to get models. So as you can see models there you are going to get stable diffusion go inside it and here you are going to get all your models. So as you can see realistic vision version 5.1 uh, and RPG version 5 both both of them are here. So you have to manually download them and put them here. OK. And next, whenever you are going to load it, you are going to get these models here. OK, so now let's try our first example. So I'll just load this realistic vision version 5.1, this model, and I'll take an example. So from here, so I just want to take a random example. Maybe this one I'll try. So I'll just take this one as an example and I'll just copy the prompts. You can write your own prompts, but I'll just copy it from here. So I'll paste it here and then I'm going to take this negative prompt also. Uh, just I'll copy it and I'll just going to put it here. OK, so the prompt is like professional photo, close up portrait and wearing black sweater, uh, serious face and all these things. OK, you can give your prompt accordingly. Now, at first, I'm not going to do the face swapping. I'll just I'll just going to generate the image. So sampling steps, I'll put it as 40. Uh, not 40, I'll just make it 30, no problem in that. Uh, on, uh, and here the height, I'll just make it to 768. I'll make it best size one and everything. I'm not going to change anything. CFG, I'm putting a CFG scale seven and uh, yeah, that's it. So now I'm going to generate it. Okay. So as you can see, here we have got an image. Okay. This is how it looks like. Pretty good result. Next, we need to swap a face. Now here I'm going to use Leonardo DiCaprio's face. So I'll just going to take this image as you can see this image here I'm going to take and I'll just and uh, here uh, so you have to go inside this group here you have to upload the image and here click on enable so restore visibility should be one uh, restore face you can use code format or like uh, GAP GAN whatever up to you and remaining things I'll not change and I'm just going to and uh, so basically I have to use the same uh, seed number so that I'll get the same image okay but if you want to get a different uh, generated image, you can just put it minus one. So I'll click on generate and now let's see what we get. So at 97% or 98% is going to stuck because at this part is going to put the face there and this uh, takes a little bit time. So here maybe for depending on the GPU, it will take a little bit more time. So please wait here. Okay. And then you'll get the result. So as you can see, it has generated the image and as you can see, Leonardo DiCaprio's face is here, but still uh, this part is not that good. Okay. So it's a, like, I'll not say it's a very good result. So now what I'll do instead of this one, I'll just put minus one again here. So I'll just want to generate uh, another image. So let's just see. Also, you can increase the sampling steps. So sampling steps, you increase the your result will be obviously better. So let's just see uh, what it will generate this time. So as you can see, this time it has really generated a very good image. As you can see the face swapping, it has did quite good, I would say. OK, this is how it's looking like. So in this way, you can actually uh, generate uh, basically using a prompt. You can generate different kind of images and then you can put someone's like face there. OK, and uh, now also you can use RPG model. So RPG, I had previously generated an image, so I'll just show you. So this image actually I have generated RPG. So as you can see, this is also a very good result I've got here. So this kind of things, this kind of stuff so you can generate. Okay. So this is the, this was the very first thing. Next, I'm going to show you how you can actually take any image from the web and you can put someone face there. So for that, you need to go to image to image tab. Now here at first we have to load an image where we are going to put the face. So I'm going to take this image. OK, and also we need to enable rope and then we need to add our image. So here I'm just going to use the same image here. OK, and then another thing we have to change that is 
here we have to also mark the part we will change so that's the face right so we'll go to uh, okay sorry uh, so it, we have to go to uh, in paint and then we have to actually upload the image okay so here where was the image here was the image okay and similarly we have to group is already updated there so now what we have to do we have to mark so we have to mask this face part okay in this way so we we'll have to just mask it properly and here you have to go and you have to select crop and resize that you have to select now and also here in paint marks that's also true and next we have to use the size i want to just same so 525 512 512 is fine denoising strain i'll just make it less so just maybe 0.2 or something uh, see this doesn't matter and this image enable and all these are fine okay so main thing is you have to mask it and then you have to use in paint uh, in paint marks so marks mode should be in paint marks and here you have to use crop uh, and resize okay that's it now you can click on generate so as you can see it has generated the image and as you can see it has swapped the face i would say quite good okay so obviously the hair is not matching we have just swapped the face but the face it has swapped quite good i would say okay so this is how you can take any random image and put someone's image there okay okay so the final thing i'm going to show you is to take a random pose and how you can put someone pay, uh, face in that pose okay so something like that so for that uh again uh, we have to be in the we have to go to the image to image tab okay and they are just image to image nothing else and there i'm going to take a random pose so i already have downloaded a pose image so let me just upload it uh, let's take this one as example and i'll just open it okay now here this is the pose i want to take in my image but i don't want the exact one so like i can change it so for example uh, i can give some kind of prompt so what i'll do is i'm using the realistic vision model so i'll just go here and i'll just take a prompt let me just uh let's say not this one let's say this prompt i'll take so i'll just copy this prompt here and i'm just going to put it here and this prompt i'll just put it here okay and now remaining settings uh just resize is fine and here sampling steps let's just make it 40 uh, height I just want to make it 768 and this is fine now uh, denoising strength I have to increase I'll just make it something like 6 uh, 7 I'll make it okay or maybe something like uh, 7 is fine no problem and then seed minus 1 group I'm not going to use so I'll just delete it I'll just uh, generate the image first and that's it so now let's just oh and here yeah here we have to mention the pose now to take the pose we need to use control net and so if you haven't installed control net at first you have to install control net now to install control net is very simple again you have to go to extensions there you have to go from in, so in my case is already installed so as you can see sd web ui control net in your case you have to go to install from url and there you have to put this url so i'll put the ui in description so this url you have to put okay in this way and then you can just click on install so once you click it you will get it similar to this and then again you have to apply and quit and then control net will be installed so once control net is installed then you can going to get this control net tab here okay so you can open control net here you will see different kind of control types are there now for each control type we need different kind of models now we need to download control net models for that so how you can do so so there is this page i'll put the link in description in this page you can go there are several control net models you can download from this page okay and you can just go to files and versions and their are models and there you are going to get different control net models so canny depth and then there is this open post on all these things okay so what is control net control net gives us a control so when you are generating an image from a prompt you are just saying this and that 
and is generating it but there is no control you are giving the prompts you are saying this features i want and it is generating but here using control net we can give a control you can have a control so basically i can say that you uh, follow this structure you follow this age or you follow this uh, what i can say pose something like this things we can say so here we are going to use open pose so you need to download this file uh, control sd15 open pose dot pdh pth this file you download it and next we have to go to again to our folder in uh, in windows you can just go to file explorer or in my case i'll go to my drive here uh, what you have to do uh, you have to go to stable diffusion web ui from there you have to go to extensions and in extensions you have to go to control net and inside that you have to you have to again go to models okay and finally here you have to put your model so in my case as you can see open pose is there uh, canny is there okay so you need to put the model there next what you have to do is next you can again reload uh, your basically stable diffusion and then actually you can just make click it on enable so you are enabling the open uh, you are enabling the control net you also have to click the pixel perfect and then you have to select open pose here and once you click open pose is going to load the models from the folder so as you can see it is loading the models okay let's just wait for it so as you can see it has loaded the model here you come and you make it open pose instead of open pose full okay remaining things you don't need to change this balance is fine and remaining things are also fine don't need to change anything so now as we have enabled it and we have choose open pose now our generated image is going to follow this pose okay and now uh, we can actually click on generate so let's just click on generate and see what we get so as you can see uh, this is what we got and as you can see the pose is has maintained as you can see the same pose okay obviously the finger it is not maintaining but overall pose is same okay so in this way you can generate a new image you the pose okay and as you can see also it has also the followed all the prompts okay now what you have to do is we have to swap the face now for that again the same thing you have to do you have to just go to group you have to just enable it you have to upload an image and in this case maybe i'll just upload some else someone else's image so i have uploaded emma watson's image here and now we will just click on generate and let's see what we get so it has generated a new image obviously because every time you click on generate it's going to generate a new image and also and there is a way to stop it that is you can just uh, use the seed number so i don't know why i can't yeah so as you can see there is a seed number given if you copy this seed number and you put it here then every time you click on generate it is going to generate the same image okay but i haven't put it last time so it has generated a new image but as you can see it has swapped the face and it's looking quite good okay and obviously not as lora or something but yeah with a single image it has generated quite a good image so as you can see here we have followed a pose we have used some prompts and also we have used the face and then we have created this image so this is how you can combine all those things and create a image okay so this is how you can use a face swapping in stable diffusion okay with all these techniques and also there are many more techniques you can use obviously i haven't covered everything so if you want to know more about this or if you have some problems doing this you let me know in the comment section or you want to learn something else you have specific requirements let me know in the comment section i'll try to make those videos also so this is all about this video guys i hope you have liked this video and learned something from this video in that case please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that whenever we are going to make videos like this you will get update and many more videos similar to this we are making and you will get those videos very soon so stay tuned and i'll see you in the very next video